Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to the Short Haired Sisters. In this video, I'll be sharing all of the books that I read in 2022, which I think is a grand total of 28, and my opinions on them and what I rated them. The app that I use to rate my books is called Goodreads, and I highly recommend it. You can share your progress on books with friends and just do a bunch of stuff as in rating books, seeing what other people rated books, reading reviews on books, and I just think it's a really, really good app. Alrighty, so none of these are in order of which I read them this year because I sorted them by author so I could get all the series together. So none of these are in order of which I read them, but I read them all in 2022. The first book that I have on my roster is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. I don't know if that's how you say her name, but I gave this book five stars. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was a really, really good book with a really good story. It's basically about this girl who is sick and then her um, mom tries to keep her inside because she's super sick and cannot go outside of their house without um, breathing in the air because it's infected or she's allergic to something in the air. And then a boy moves in next door and she slowly starts to fall in love with him and starts to break more and more of her mother's rules about going outside of the house. I thoroughly enjoyed that book. I gave it five stars. I thought it was really good. The next book I read was The Help. I had to read this book for eighth grade in my school and it is by Katherine Stockett. And I ended up reading this book three stars. I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was a really, really good story and a really, really good um, plot line. There's also a movie about it, although I feel the book was better than the movie in my opinion, but that's just me. The next book I have is Just a Boy and a Girl in a Little, Bo in a Little Canoe by Sarah Malonsky. I, gave, I ended up giving this book four stars. I really enjoyed this book. It's basically about this girl who goes to summer camp be, to help with kids because her boyfriend is backpacking around Europe. So she goes to the summer camp and ends up maybe falling in love with someone else, but we're not going to say too much. Then there is I See London, I See France by the same author. And this is basically, um, it's all it's like a duology between Just a Boy and a Girl in a Little Canoe and I See London, I See France, they're kind of intertwined because of the characters are somewhat the same, but I didn't enjoy I See London, I See France as much. I ended up giving it three stars. It was still a good book. If you enjoyed Just a Boy and a Girl in a Little Canoe and enjoyed the characters, then I would recommend reading it. The next book I read was Since You've Been Gone, but I actually didn't finish it. I ended up DNFing this book because I just got lost in the plot line and I found it not as interesting to read once I got past the first couple chapters. I ended up giving that book two stars for the first like 200 pages, so not too too bad. The next book is one that I had to read over the summer for um, eighth grade and I gave it four stars and it is The Giver by Lois Lowry. I really enjoyed this book. This is when I was in like a dystopian era and I was really into, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was really into dystopian novels and I thoroughly enjoyed this book and gave it four stars. The next book I read was Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lippincott. I gave this book five stars. I read this one recently. I read it all in one sitting. It was an amazing book. I loved it so, so much. The plot line was amazing. There's a movie about it. Now I need to watch the movie since I've read the book. The next book I read is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Everybody raves about this book. Everybody says this book is amazing. And I 100% agree with them. This book honestly had me pulled in from the first sentence. I loved it so much. I gave it, I gave it five stars. It was an amazing read for me. I read it in like two days. So that was the first really fast read that I had of the year. And that's when my reading addiction kind of like started to pick up. The next book I read was The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, and I also had to read this book for school. It was a very mature writing, and I ended up giving it four stars. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was a great book to read for school. I really enjoyed the lessons in it and just, like, the kind of mystery revolving around it. The movie is also really good. It does the book pretty good justice, so if you don't want to read the book, you can always watch the movie. 
The next book I read was All This Time by Mickey Daughtry. Oh my gosh, this book. I loved it so much. I ended up giving it four stars because I was kind of upset by the ending, but that's because I was salty. This is probably a five star read for me. There's a giant plot twist at the end. I was not seeing it coming. I don't think anybody that read the book would see it coming. It was such a big plot twist and I thoroughly enjoyed reading it just because of how on my toes it kept me. The next book I read was 99 Days by Katie Contungo. Contungno? I don't know how to say her last name. I rated this book four stars. It was a really new book for me. This is one that I read over the summer. It's basically where this girl comes back for summer after a really embarrassing thing happened and she's kind of haunted by that really embarrassing thing. It was an okay read for me. I ended up giving it four stars, but I think now as I'm looking back, it's probably a three star read for me. It was okay. Would I recommend it? Sure. The next book I read was The Things You Kiss Goodbye by Lindsay Connor. I ended up reading this book in two days. It was a good book. It kept me on my toes. I gave it three stars. It was kind of descriptive for me in some parts, so I definitely look up the trigger warnings of that book if you're looking to read it. The first series that I read this year was The Matched series by Ali Connie. I thoroughly enjoyed the first book. I gave the first book four stars. Then the second and third books kind of fell lower for me. Um, I gave them each two stars. I really enjoyed the first book way more than the second and third book because I felt I feel that the se that the second book was okay, but the third book I truly did not like the third book at all, and it kind of ruined the second book for me just by reading that book. It was an okay series. I recommend the first book, not the second and third one. The next books. The next two books are ones that I had to read for school this year, this first semester of freshman year. So uh, one of the books that I had to read was The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. I gave this book two stars. It was an okay book for me because the thing about this book was there weren't really, there wasn't really like a main plot. It was lots, it was mini stories or vignettes that were all put into one book. I think some people would enjoy it. I personally did not enjoy it as much as I thought I would. The next book I had to read for school was The Alchemist by Paulo Kaleo. I gave this book two stars, mainly just because I had to read it for school. I don't think it's a book that I would mainly make myself read. It had a really, really good message at the end though, so I really enjoyed the message and like the meaning behind the book. I just didn't enjoy reading it. The second series that I read this year was The Selection. It was by far my favorite series of this year. It was amazing. My friend gave me the first book when we over summer and I ended up reading the rest of the series by myself just because I loved it so much. I gave the first and second book five stars and the third book four stars. And then the fourth and the fifth book were kind of diff difficult for me to get through. Um, I gave them each two stars. I didn't enjoy the fourth and fifth book as much as I did the first three because the fourth and the fifth book are kind of with new characters and a new plot line. So I just, it, they fell lower for me than the rest of the series. I also read the novella that came with it called Happily Ever After and it's basically um, America and Mason's story told from other points of view like the guard, the queen, and I think a housemaid, but I don't know. It's been a long time since I read this and reviewed it. The next book I read was The Siren by Kira Cass. I went on a Kira Cass roll. I loved this selection so much that I wanted to read another one of her novels. The Siren, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good book. Um, I ended up giving it four stars. I really liked the storyline behind it, but I can also see why some people wouldn't like it. So, you know, that's just a four star read for me. I thought it was really good. The next book I read, I did not enjoy in the slightest. I read The Cruel Prince and I know some of y'all are gonna come after me because this book is loved, this series is loved. I gave this book two stars. It's The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I didn't enjoy the first book. I found that some parts were really long and dragged out and I just could, I just had to really drag myself to read it rather than wanting to read it. I heard the second book is better though, so I'll probably end up continuing and trying to finish that series. The next duology 
Well, the first duology that I've read this year, this past year, was The Six of Crows by Leah Bardungo. I loved this duology. I loved the first book. I gave it four stars. I thought it was amazing. I thought it was fantastically written. I loved that the POVs jumped around. I loved the slight romantic interests in it. Then I read the second book, which is a long 530 pages. I really enjoyed this book as well. Uh, not as much as the first one though. So the first one I gave four stars. This one was kind of like a 3.8 star read for me. It kind of felt as though they were trying to wrap up the ending kind of fast at the very beginning, but then I kind of enjoyed it more towards the end. And one of the last books that I read this year was Red Queen. I gave this book five stars. I absolutely loved it. I have the third and second book waiting over there for me to read because I thoroughly loved this book. I thought it was amazing. It kept me on my toes. I was able to read it super fast. Then one of the books that I didn't necessarily talk about in this video is One of Us is Lying. I read the first 70 pages of this at a Thanksgiving party because I heard a bunch of book talks about it, heard everyone saying it was super, super good. I went and I got it. I read the first 70 pages, thought this is really good. Went to get the sequel, read the prologue to the sequel, and I ruined the ending to this book. So I DNF'd it, but it's One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McMungs. I'm terrible at pronouncing things, but this book was probably really good. I DNF'd it 70 pages in. Those are all the books that I read in 2022. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all next time.